Daphne. Mark here and welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. Today is August 6th, Saturday August 6th, uh, and Saturday and Sundays we have an open farm, uh, the, which basically means we're open to the public for people to come in and see the animals. Uh, also, the uh, first weekend of the month we have uh, a market set up. So, basically just uh, crafters, uh, local crafters from the area can come set up. Uh, we have people that come out visit the farm and uh, have a little bit of a country market. Now this weekend is uh, an extra busy weekend uh, because there is a richer rodeo going on in richer Manitoba. Uh, so Tara and I are going to be heading down there. We have done a few other. We did Canada Day uh, in the city of Winnipeg and we did uh, Canada Day petting farm also at a local town, uh, Dugald, Manitoba. Uh, and this rodeo, we're doing another petting farm. So we're going to take some of our animals down there, uh, set up. I think it runs from 1 o'clock till 5.30. Uh, so there is uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, so Tiana and uh, Marlene are going to uh, work here on the farm. And then Tara and I are going to head to Richer. That's busy starting the barbecue. You're already loading the animals. So who do we got? Daphne? You got anybody else? Oh, we got Willow in there. <laughs> all right, so we have the back of the van all opened up here. I think Fernando is going to go in this area here. All right, Willow, stay. She's so much heavier than Daphne. Is she? Well, she's bigger. Yeah, Daphne's just a little thing. So Snow and Fernando. And we're taking Onyx and David. Onyx and David. Not you, Sheldon. No, you get to stay here. Where are they going? Where are they going? <laughs> hey, buddy? Yes. Uh, and Onyx and David. David. Come here, David. There we go. There we go, David. Oh, yes. Yes. Hi. <laughs> what is it? Hey. We're going to go get in the van. Hi, David. Oh, there we go. How many animals to fit in the van? A lot more than what we're putting in there. We thought about taking Ritzy. Hi, Ritzy. But with ducks, they use their beaks quite a bit. You can see how he's like pinching, right? So Tiana's actually got some welts on her arm. So they're very friendly, but that's how they play. So, <laughs> so of course you get a little child that comes in and uh, Ritzy does uh, his little trick. Hey, what, what are you doing? Where are you going? <laughs> oh. The girls are tag teaming. Tag teaming Onyx. I know. Do you have your used to be Onyx? <laughs> oh, Fernando! <laughs> So we're off, we're all loaded up on our way to Richer, Manitoba, which is uh, probably about a 20 minute drive, 20, 25 minutes. Uh, it's just south of us uh, on number, just off number one highway. So we've got uh, everybody loaded up in here, just a small crew on this one. Last, uh, when we went to Bridgeport and to Dugald, we took all the Bridgewater. kids. Bridgewater. Bridgewater. Bridgewood, yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, the city of Winnipeg. No, we took uh, all of the kid goats, uh, but we've got uh, just the three here now. Uh, so, we have Onyx back there. Fernando was in this uh, cage here, but he jumped out because Fernando cannot be contained. 
Uh, and then we got David and Daphne. We've got little snow in the back. Uh, Willow, the white sheep, and Onyx, the black sheep. And Edgar. Oh, and right. Henry. In the uh, containers here. I almost forgot about them. Our rabbits. So we'll um, head off and uh, unload these guys and get all set up. All right, we've made it. Well, here we are. Richer Rodeo. Looks like there's a uh, sound stage over there. There's some uh, a little train driving around. Play structure. Looks like there's pony rides off in the distance there. Uh, and then the uh, the actual rodeo looks like it takes place over uh, over in that area by the big Bud Light. So Tara's just uh, figuring out a few things and we'll get the animals unloaded. All right, so we've got everybody unloaded here. And then uh, the crowd has diminished because there's still another 10 minutes left uh, till we actually open. And the kids are fighting. <laughs> uh, so we always get this once uh, we're setting up. We get people that come around. Of course, when are you opening? When are you opening? You get the same question from the kids over and over and over again. So we're now set up. We're ready to go. Uh, we just have to clean up a few things, and uh, we are open for business. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys take it now. Yep. 
Sleeping. <laughs> Onyx is just like. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You see what I'm doing? Oh, swerve. <laughs> <laughs> It's now Sunday after a long day at the rodeo yesterday. Uh, Tara is actually heading down there today in uh, probably about 45 minutes. So uh, we're going to load the animals up with her. And Tiana and I are going to uh, stay here for our open farm, uh, which uh, we do every uh, weekend. So we're open uh, 11 to 4 on Saturday and Sundays. So we're kind of juggling um, animals around and people around as well. Uh, so everybody made it back uh, all right. I think uh, we did put, uh, yeah. So Willow was in here last night. It looks like Tara moved her out. Hi, Sheldon. You eating your hay? Lexi. Uh, and uh, the ducklings, the ducklings are, uh, we've had a couple batches of ducklings. Uh, the Muscovy ducks have um, have had a few different clutches. <laughs> they, uh, they sneak away and then they have a, uh, uh, a nest, they make a nest and then of course they show up with all these little ones. Uh, so we've got some small ones in here. This one is Mac Mac. So Mac Mac, um, she did sit on a nest. She is a Cayuga duck. Uh, she sat on a nest, but then it just, I guess because of the humidity and everything, um, her eggs just didn't uh, work out. These little ones that chase the bugs, they run around and they look for bugs and it's the cutest thing. Hi, Holly. <laughs> oh, Fernando. Fernando was tired yesterday. <laughs> Ah, uh, the kids. There's Moana. Yeah, what? Uh, and um, all the other kids. So they will be leaving this coming week. Yes, you're going to your new home. Uh, and we've already got uh, uh, people on the waiting list for next year's kids. So, <laughs> hey, because <laughs> you're just so cute, right? <laughs> yeah. So you may not see these guys in the next video, depending on when they get picked up. Oh, itchy head. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can chew on my finger. Uh, so goats have uh, teeth on the bottom, not on the top. So they just have a, um, uh, <laughs> a bone pellet, pellet on, the, uh, on the top, and that's meant for just uh, the bottom teeth grab. And then the top teeth, uh, or the top palate, uh, is what they pull off of. You don't want to stick your finger in too far because they do have full back teeth. So it looks like some of the kids are going out back. Hi, Tinker. <laughs> Hi, Tinker. What are you doing, girl? Hi. Yes. Oh. And Blackie. How's Blackie doing? Oh, don't get up on my account. I have no food for you. <laughs> 
uh, oh, she's gonna maybe go do some mowing. So for the past, uh, well, past couple months, we've had this idea of taking shingles and putting them on the play structure for the goats, uh, just to help wear down their hoofs. Now, of course, uh, we do trim their hoofs usually about twice a year uh, in the spring and in the fall, uh, but it depends on how much or how rough the ground is, how soft the ground is, uh, as depending on how often you are going to trim your, uh, your hoofs for your sheep and your goats and your alpaca. Uh, so we've seen this before. People have put uh, shingle material on the play structure where they, or the walkway where they usually go. So this is one of the, uh, the areas here. Uh, there's another one in Sheldon's pen over there. There's another play structure uh, right over there. So we are going to line the walkways here with shingles. We'll probably do that this week. And then we also thought, because the animals tend to walk along the building here to go in, uh, Tara's put some rocks here, kind of some stepping stone rocks. We may just make like a pathway of shingles. Uh, so we'll see how that that goes, and it's just uh, just to kind of naturally wear down their um, their hoofs, uh, just keeping them maintained throughout. Uh, Petey and Piper, I still have to hook up their um, winter water and get that all tested out. Uh, we're gonna have to put some apples in it, likely to uh, coax them into checking it out and seeing what it's all about, uh, because they go into the pond. Uh, which has lots of duckweed on it, which is all that green, and they usually come out pretty green. You can see some of the ducks over here. <laughs> uh, they've got uh, they've got some green going on on their chest and beak. Uh, I've got all the pigeons out here. They're hanging out uh, and uh, getting the grains as well. Well, there is the missing alpaca. Java, Java, are you going to ignore me? <laughs> I, see, I see somebody has given you a small leaf of, uh, of hay. He's ignoring me. What are you doing, buddy? Hi. This is where I'm going to put the, uh, the water in here. I'm going to put it right in here. I did move uh, one of my cameras. Uh, so there is a camera right here. It used to be over on the wall. Just moved it over here so I can keep an eye down on that area when I do put the water in. Uh, this is where the pigs sleep. This is the pig pen. Although, <laughs> I think Turbo has kind of moved in. <laughs> He's snoozing. <laughs> and of course, it's because of all this hay in here. So, Tara threw some hay in and that's where they're going to go. Well, I hear a child crying. Oh, right. So we have to reach into the screen to unlock it because the animals actually can, um, can open it. Ah, oh, mommy's put you guys away. Yes. You guys going back to the rodeo? Ma, yeah, Ma will be here to load you guys up in about half an hour. <laughs> so I think they had a good day. Uh, great interaction between uh, humans and animals and vice versa. Uh, it's great that they, uh, they get out to, um, especially Fernando, which Fernando's not hard to wrangle. That's probably why he's not in here. Um, Fernando just loves people and yesterday driving home he was crashed like there was it was a complete difference between um, between going to the rodeo and coming back Daphne <laughs> do you have to get that hay on the top <laughs> well, Tara's all backed up to the uh, loading dock so this is our uh, loading dock area we used to have a handrail on here we took it off just much easier to bring hay down from the barn. Uh, we bring pallets uh, with the tractor down, drop them down on this area here. And uh, it just makes it that much easier. And when people come and drop off animals, they can back right up to it. 
How are the front animals going? Ponies and goats. Looks like they're all in this area. They're not wandering out. Usually they're kind of scattered all around up front, but I guess it's resting time, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Billy. Billy loves his rocks here. He'll always, you'll, you'll always find him when he's in this area. Just kind of perched on them or lying down on them. Uh, Levi. How you doing, buddy? Hi. Yes. Hi. <laughs> uh, so Levi's the one that... Uh, he would probably make uh, a good little pony ride pony. And uh, then he's, we've got his, uh, his daughter there, Meadow, and Daisy on the other side. Uh, Meadow is actually a little bit smaller than Levi, and she's, she's now full grown. She's, what is she? She's two and a half, three, three. She's three years old, I believe. And then Daisy, she's uh, quite a bit older, and when she came in, she had some really bad feet. Uh, so she's uh, recovered from that over the past couple years. She is now walking very nicely. She, when she did come in, uh, she was limping. She could barely walk. Uh, so it's uh, really nice to see her running uh, from time to time. She will run with these two. Uh, these two just love to run and play. And we've just had some people show up here. I guess we are now open, so i got to get to work. <laughs> I've got a few cars here that have shown up. Uh, I just overheard that these girls here that just arrived were actually at the rodeo yesterday. Uh, so they decided to come by and see uh, the rest of the animals. So that is it for uh, this video. Um, like I said, I got to get to work and get out there. Tara's going to be leaving soon. I'm going to have to load up. Uh, I want to finish editing this video so I have it uh, up for you guys. Uh, well, only in a few hours, I guess. Uh, so lots to do around here. Uh, I thank you for watching, and uh, if you have any questions or anything, uh, please leave them down below in the comments. My dogs, Toby and Maggie and Atlas, think uh, somebody's breaking in, I guess. No, it's me. Hey, Atlas. Atlas barks because Toby barks, and Toby barks because Maggie barks, and... <laughs> That's, yeah. They make good alarms anyway. We know somebody when somebody is driving down the driveway um, because these guys hear it and um, they start barking. Okay, guys. As soon as I walk up here, then they're fine. Okay. Yeah, Maggie. Hi. All right. Yeah, I'm so happy to see you. I just saw you like 15 minutes ago. Okay, good. Yes, I know. What Toby's saying is the animals are in his dog run and he wants to go down and run. All right, good, good. And he wants some attention too. <laughs> yes, I know. So from all of us here at the Ten Acre Woods, have a wonderful week and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, <laughs> bye.